What have you seen from Sam Darnold thus far with the Panthers that has really kind of built into his success that he's had thus far? He just seems to be more grounded and more confident. Um, when he was with the Jets, he just seemed jittery to me. Every time I saw him play, his feet were moving. Uh, he had those happy feet that, that uh, you know a lot of young quarterbacks and just a lot of quarterbacks in general that aren't comfortable have. I don't see that uh, in, in Carolina. I see a guy that's really confident in what he's doing. I think Joe Brady, their offensive play caller, does a great job of, of calling plays that he does well um, within that offense. Uh, they're getting him on the move and outside the pocket. And then, of course, he's got you know better weapons than he had in New York. So that, that makes his job a little bit easier. All he has to do now is be a distributor. He doesn't have to worry about making all these great throws or trying to avoid rush because he's not getting the protection that he needs, that type of thing. All right, Warren, play a game with this. The, the league has expanded, and you are the owner of a new franchise in the NFL. And you get a chance to start your your own team with a quarterback, with anybody in the league, factor in age, factor in arm throwing strength, factor in whatever you want. The one person you can't pick from the starting quarterback position is Patrick Mahomes. Who are you taking to start your franchise and why? Well, I can't pick Pat Mahomes, huh? Yep, can't pick Patrick Mahomes. Well, I'm probably going to go with Josh Allen. Mm. Uh, just, you know, a lot of people would probably say, you know, Tom Brady, because he's still playing at a very high, high rate. You, you look at, at Aaron Rodgers as well. But at some point in the next year or two, one of these guys are, are going to be, you know, going out of the league. So you don't want to not have one of these guys after two or three years. So I'm going to go with the younger guy who has the upside. And I think Josh Allen, his upside has been really good. The last two years, he's really improved a lot. He was an MVP candidate last year. I think he was second in the voting. And I think he's only going to continue to keep getting better. So I, I'd have to go with Josh Allen right now. Not, not Justin Herbert or Lamar Jackson? They're all great ones. I mean, I could go Dak Prescott. I could go – uh, Deshaun Watson. There's a lot of guys that that uh, that I would go with, but I think uh, Josh Allen because um, he's a big, strong guy. I think he 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 has all the elements that you need. Uh, Deshaun Watson, if he was in a, in a better situation right now, I think he would be the guy that I would probably go with because. Uh, he had a tremendous year last year, and he's had a tremendous career so far, but we just don't know. It's so uncertain about his career right now. So I'm going with a guy that's playing well right now, that's um, that, that's had a good year, had a last couple of good years, and I think I'm going to go with Josh Allen right now. Talking to Hall of Famer Warren Moon on Keyshawn J. Will and Max. Warren, let me apologize in advance, because every time I talk to you on the radio, I bring up at least one of two topics. Tom Brady, because he's you were before Tom Brady, the greatest old quarterback ever, right? <laughs> and I and I bring up a race in the NFL because you experienced that in such a way where you should switch positions and you're forced not to play in the NFL to begin your career, still wind up in the Hall of Fame. It's crazy. I, I, the reason I bring it up now is because of Lamar Jackson. What he just did, he won a playoff game finally last year. He's been an MVP. He just came from behind to beat Patrick Mahomes, and he was the best player on the field. And I mentioned that he's an easy guy to root for because of the stereotyping historically of black quarterbacks, because of the way he plays and now the success he's having and the evolution he's having. Do you have any kind of special thoughts about Lamar Jackson along those lines? Well, I think he's a very, very special athlete, and he's and he's done some great things early in his career. He's only 24 years old. I hope he continues to keep uh, improving as a passer because at some point, uh, his speed and agility is is going to start to diminish. It just happens. It's human, human nature, and he's going to have to rely a little bit more on his arm than he does right now. So he can get away with this right now um, because he is young. Uh, he's healthy, and I still worry about him getting hurt because he carries the football so much. He carries the ball probably inside the tackles uh, more than most running backs uh, do. So th that really concerns me, the, the, the wear and tear on his body. Uh, you look at uh, Cam Newton, how big and strong a guy he is. He was that same type of player early in his career, uh, but you see where he is right now from the punishment that he's taken uh, you know, for that first six, five, six, seven years of his career. So that's what worries me about Lamar Jackson, the, the amount of times that he carries the football 
uh, he's going to have to start relying on his arm a little bit more for longevity. And otherwise, he's off to a great start. He's a, a, probably the most exciting, most electric player in the league right now. But I do worry about his durability going forward. Warren, having watched you play as long as I did in the NFL, um, which quarterback reminds you of yourself? I'd have to say uh, Dak Prescott. I was going to say um, that. I was, that's, I was. Yeah, he, he's a guy that, you know, my, my arm might be a little bit better than his right now, but he his arm has really improved since he's been in the league. Uh, he's a mobile guy, but he's not ultra mobile. And I was the same way. I could move if I needed to, but uh, I wasn't going to, you know, dazzle you with my, with my athleticism. But um, I think we're both really good leaders. Uh, so, yeah, there was a lot of uh, similarities between, uh, you know, our games and, and the way we play the game. So I think Dak Prescott would be the guy I guess um, I do know I'd be compared to right now. I guess I do know something about quarterbacks because I was that's, – that's exactly what I was – that's why I asked you the question because I was going to say he – what I saw, I just saw a highlight or two, and I happened to look, and I said, man, he reminds me of Warren Moon. <laughs> Warren, we, Warren, we got about a minute left, but I did want to ask you, you know, we, you mentioned Tom Brady – him playing at the age of 44. What have you made to the start of the season thus far for him? Well, you got to understand, this guy is playing with probably four all-pro receivers right now. You know, Antonio Brown was probably one of the best receivers in this league, arguably, about two years ago. Rob Gronkowski is going to go down as one of the top five, if not probably top three tight ends of all time. Um, you know, Chris Godwin is an all-pro receiver, and, and so is... Um, is is Mike Evans? They're all they're all guys that have been to the Pro Bowl. So he's playing with a ton of talent, first of all, and then what Tom does, you know, as far as taking care of himself and keeping his body, um, you know, flexible and, and keeping his arm in, in good good uh, condition. I think his arm is probably stronger now than it was when he was, you know, twenty years old, twenty five years old. So uh, all that combined with the great offensive line play and then his then his intellect and, and his smarts. I mean, the guy can play probably as long as he wants to, as long as he stays away from any major injuries. So uh, I see him having another outstanding season unless he starts losing a lot of players or maybe losing offensive linemen that won't be able to protect him. But uh, he's, he's in his own right now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.